I've never seen this performance video though. Maybe I heard it live. I, mm, it depends if they, if they did it in London or not, but I'm not familiar with it too much. I've never seen this performance video. Let's check it out. Oh, Sydney Sith. Sydney Sith. I think I have heard this. They did do this live actually. Probably didn't know the name, but. <laughs> really nice Pokemonalities. Yeah, they definitely did this live. Yeah. different for them but it's, it is in a, in a weird way you know at the same time like and again I'm not saying there's any copying going on in any way this is an Everglow song it sounds like an Everglow song and stuff like that but definitely a different flavor in a lot of the, lot of the songs I've heard in this discography but I can understand Latvarius in the chat loving it because Latvarius's old group well co-alt group is twice and I get twice vibes from that and I mean that is a big compliment I love twice's music and stuff like that so the fact that you've got these you know insane like vocalists and stuff uh, and everything like that doing that sort of song it's always gonna work love the chorus the chorus is so catchy man 
Oh my god, the chorus is so catchy. Again, the 80s Motown sort of funkiness that was coming into it as well. But there was like a 80s beat, the synth obviously coming into it. Even Laverius admits that it's twice like, <laughs> I know I know you, Laverius, I know you too well. Um, but yeah, I loved the, the fact, I've always said, I'm a sucker for rap versus being in bridges because I'm so used to the K-pop formula of being like, first verse, pre-chorus, chorus, second verse, that's where the rap normally is, right, in K-pop. Normally, I know, not, not, not always, but normally. I love the fact that they put the rap verse in the bridge with the you and, and Aisha there. So, so good. Um, insanely catchy, just made me smile. Um, and awesome choreography again, very different choreography from what we just checked out from Pirates. But man, that's a catchy song. That's a catchy song. And I love the beat of it as well. Really love the beat of it. Um, right, start from top to bottom this time. Uh, I wouldn't pair by Vladi Da first, Untouchable. Already slowing down. Oh dear. Oh, this one's kind of come out of nowhere, to be honest. I can't prove I've Untouchable. Untouchable for me is the B-side to beat when it comes to Everglow. The B-side to beat. However, I will say... That came out of nowhere for me. That goes straight into the top five. Uh, there you go, guys. Really, really enjoyed that one. And, and again, very different to what they've done, but still them, which is the important part. Awesome vocals, by the way. The vocals, like, phew, damn. Mia and, and, and Sion and, and the rest, too. Um, right. 